First, the salute and the handshake. There's no padding. If one of these strokes actually landed, a shattered jaw, a broken collarbone, or worse could result. Death from a single blow isn't unheard of. It's part of the skill not to hit your opponent. A move to protect against any attack from the rear. And back to conclude the fight. Joko Dupau is an honored skill. The contest allowed in the courtyard of this ancient monastery. An old master from the hills is going to give a lesson to an able but younger fighter. Wow, that's one way to keep in shape. This takes real endurance and energy. In the old days, when Portugal was a monarchy, everyone from king to common shepherd took part in Jogo do Pau. And any man could gain fame and respect throughout the country, regardless of his origins, if he was good enough. Jogo do Pau can be an extremely useful fighting art. Here, one man holds off two. And just look at that speed. Imagine you've come to a strange town to sell your wares at a local market. Three men attack you. You must defend all you own and your life. You can do it if you've mastered Jogo Dupau. And now, watch closely as the old master demonstrates how to defend yourself not from one or two assailants, but from a dozen attacking men. Now the objective here is to break out of the surrounding circle. This is the ultimate test of consummate skill at Jogo du Pau. Jogo Dupau, the ancient art of self-defense that lives today because you asked for it.